Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of July 15th. This is episode Alex. I I knew I would. That's why. That's why I I say say 54 or 55. I think that's way too many, isn't it? Oh, God. Someone's listening to this right now. It's like, guys, it's this number. It is episode 52. Alex, you're way off. Episode 52. And of course, you heard him. That is my co host, Alex. Uh, uh, Getting through me virtually, of course, through the echo space. Alex, how are you today? I don't like you. Oh. Oh God! I'm All just right. kidding. I'm great. And you know what I don't like? I don't like your AC. I don't think anyone can actually hear your yeah, AC right now. But for does. some reason, on the Yeti Blue mics, I can hear Alex's gnat fart. Like, like the gnats in his house. I hear them farting. It's a, it's odd. It's strange. I don't necessarily hate it, but I don't it's like hilarious. it entirely either. Because we started we, right before we started recording this, it had shut off. It's it. It's it. It turned on. It sure did. It sure did. It's it's the earth just trying to mess with us one more time. That is exactly what happened, by the way. It shut off and I hit <laughs> I hit start laughing. recording I and all I hear is <laughs> Again, I don't think you guys hear. Shoot a tweet or a comment below if you actually hear it and and just put I hear it. But like wh- whisper it though um but of course alex don't worry we're not an ac podcast no 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 no. we don't do any air conditioning talk we talk about video games and that is what we talk about every single friday coming to you at every podcast service of your choice and of course youtube every single friday you come you join us you listen you discuss in the comments and tweet at us all your questions comments concerns thoughts and ideas and if you want to help us even more than that i welcome you to please head over patreon.com slash easy achievers you give us a dollar that gives you an exclusive guys that gives you an exclusive monthly podcast every every single month that's right every single month you get an exclusive it's joining me and alex talking about me and alex things uh that could be anywhere between what garbage show alex is watching on netflix for the fourth time <laughs> or any garbage game i'm playing for an easy thousand gamer score and if you want to be a freeloader i understand we're freeloaders too you go over you give us five stars everywhere you listen to us everywhere else you help us statistically because that's as much as helping us financially. So don't worry. If you don't got the financial bucks, you can help us just by listening and just by tuning in every single Friday. Alex, we got a jam-packed weekly news yes, we podcast for you. But before I get into that, Alex, I have a question for mm. you. What have you been playing you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of um, this and a little bit of that. Finishing up the collectibles for Last of Us so I can start on my... You can, this, so like, you can get with this. You can get with that. You can get with this. <laughs> and this is where it's at. What is that for? Is that a, that's a commercial, right? You can go with... The, yeah, it's a commercial. It's a commercial. I, I know it's exactly what you're talking about. I just can't I, thank you. It thank is. you. If you know what that is, tweet at me. What is that? And I couldn't help myself alex again i apologize for cutting you off but my god it immediately hit me mm-hmm. and i have no idea what that is from is that from a shoe commercial i think maybe oh yeah. what is that from you can get with this you know. can get with that i don't know i don't know alex please continue i will try to erase that from my memory as i was saying before elijah had too much caffeine <laughs> i had iced coffee today that's true um Mm-mm. The good iced coffee. That's really good. Um, but no, I was, I'm gonna work on my second playthrough for uh, Last of Us so I can hit the platinum. I'm mm-hmm. gonna finish the collectibles tonight. Mm. I'm literally like two missions, two three missions. I'm doing the very last part. Okay. Uh, which I don't want to spoil because I mean I feel of like course. it's still kind of early. Yeah, it's so early. Um, so it's just the la- you know the last section of like, yeah the little last section uh, of the game. Like People will know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 So I got to do those and then I'll work on my my second walkthrough. So I can play, get that platinum. Mm-hmm, Hopefully, mm-hmm. I can do it before Ghost of Tsushima comes out on Friday. So that's where I'm at too. I want to go back to Last of Us to get that plat because again, I have already already the collectibles, all of them. Um, I mm. just need to go for that 
um, get all upgrade points or whatever. Um, so yeah. that's all I'm missing. I do want to try and get that before Friday. I don't think my schedule will allow for that because I am a tad busy mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. week. But I will try. I do really want to try and get that uh, get that yeah. done before the week. I um, have been playing... Actually, Alex, we have been playing Overwatch. Yes, which I don't yes. believe we said the word the name Overwatch on this channel once. <laughs> you know, you know, we started playing this and we were over here playing comp and my wife comes in and she's like, So what brought this up? You guys playing Overwatch again? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> we me and him just said Overwatch and we're like, let's go play Overwatch. Yeah, that's exactly how it happened. That's what we did. We did and we just went and played it. It is strange yeah. coming back after so long. Oh, for sure. But it but it's funny you know, just wrecking people. It's yeah, that yeah, that too, just smacking people down. It is it is it, it's it's like coming home in the way that it's still how you remember it a little bit though. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like coming back it's like, "Ah, I still I still it's still it's different, but it's still the same," which I really like. No, for sure, for sure. Um, I, it's crazy that that. I mean, I don't know if this is correct, but if as far as my memory can uh, can uh, help me with this, this is the first live service game, right? Like, like if we really put it down, wouldn't this be like kind of the first game that was com- like supported throughout? Maybe you can give it to Minecraft. Um, probably would be yeah, one of the first ones. The same. There was Minecraft. There was Overwatch. Um, I guess you could say Call of Duty, think. but that's not really what we mean, right? That's a new release every no, year. Because, well, because over, well, because yeah, because Overwatch was is. I mean, it, I'm not trying to say it's online only games, but it's like. I mean, I guess because constantly support wow, Destiny like, Two, Destiny Two. Wow, what? Yeah, no, that's a good point. I always forget Wow. My PC people out there, I'm sure, are screaming. Wow was probably first i think wow is 20 years old now is yeah. it or something some I mean, crazy uh, like that there's you know a bunch of pc games pretty much because league of legends dota things like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's true dota i always forget that these dota these guys on their pcs with their grams and their graphics cards costing three grand hey, i forget hey, i always hey, forget I'm about to be one of those people yeah, it's true that's true alex is about to buy a pc he's he's gonna convert uh, um not converting fully not just, fully you know just just adding to adding to the collection alex that's how drugs start do you understand me that's what starts starting. i'm just gonna try a little and then you're over here talking about hertz talking and, about these ssds the rams and, and you know m.2s m.2s don't get me started on the m.2s <laughs> mm-hmm. alex have that. but that's enough about pc talk <laughs> sorry Wow. Sorry, that's enough of that. We're getting back to Xbox, where me and Alex's home is, and we're going to Phil Spencer. We're going to Phil Spencer, and this is over on the Video Games Chronicle. Xbox boss says, generation exclusive are completely counter to what gaming is about. I thought this was a very interesting article. First off, the headline is very, bam, like right there, like, whoa, Phil, Phil over here talking, spitting mm-hmm. truth for real. And he even gets mm-hmm. in his feelings in this one, which I respect. Um, he even he even admits like he's like oh yeah I'm I'm about to I'm about to drop some real on you and I'm excited to get into this so let's get into it. The execs comments came in a frank discussion with GameIndustry.biz about Microsoft's cross generational release strategy, which will see its future games released across its next gen Xbox Series X console, plus current hardware and PC and of course Project Lock Heart. I'm adding that. I'm adding that, but we all know it's coming. Asked about Xbox's cross-generation release strategy, Spencer offered his most impassioned comments yet about why he believes it's the right approach. Quote, as a player, you are center of our strategy, the exec said. Our device is not a... Our device is not the center of our strategy. Our game is not the center of the strategy. We want to enable you to play the games you want to play with the friends you want to play with on any device. On TV, the Xbox console is going to be the best way to play console games. Xbox Series S is the most powerful console out there and will have absolutely the best versions of our console games. But that's not to exclude other people from being able to play. He added, sorry if I'm a bit soapboxy with this one. Gaming is about entertainment and community and diversion. uh, And learning new stories and new perspectives. And I find it completely counter to what gaming is about to say that part of that is to lock people away from being able to experience those games. Or to force someone to buy my specific device on the day that I want them to go buy it. In order to partake in what gaming is about. Quote, gaming is bigger than any one device. And that is something as an industry that we've embraced 
all up as we bring more and more players in. I think it's vital to the role that gaming can play on the planet. End quote. Alex, boy, mm. oh boy. That is heated, and I love it. He got into it. He broke it down. He doesn't particularly like exclusives is what he's basically saying or at least he doesn't like the cross-generation mm-hmm. exclusive if it's on 360 might as well throw it on the l- other devices um and of course i we, mm-hmm. we can all read in between the lines he's talking about ps4 he's talking about playstation he's talking about uh, nintendo or whatever he, he doesn't like that mm-hmm. every specific thing is on this specific device which hey i get it, it this is this brings up the fact that Xbox have been slowly moving away from exclusive over the past, I'd say, what, decade? Mm-hmm. Probably close to. Oh, for sure, yeah. There hasn't been that many. I mean, Gears and Halo is pretty much about it that I and, can think of. And they've all been to PC. If you have a PC, you have oh, every sure. Xbox game, right? You can't say that about yeah. Sony. You can't. You definitely can't say that about Nintendo. Um, oh, no, for sure. And, it's cl- and I did hear a uh, rumor from someone that apparently someone at X- uh, Xbox was looking to sell the Master Chief Collection on PlayStation. Um, which is pretty oh, wow. insane if you actually think about what that means. But I did hear, I did hear that from someone that would not lie. So uh, I uh, I couldn't imagine that world if I'm being frank. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe that would be a smart ploy to get people to come buy the Series X to play Halo Infinite. Maybe mm-hmm. that's what they were thinking or something. But but I I literally could that that sounds like uh, like. Uh, well, like a paradoxical universe, you know, like like everything's backwards, like PlayStation on on, oh, on a sure. yeah, yeah. on a, a PlayStation playing a Halo game, like that just, just doesn't sound right. It's like how yeah, I yeah, felt like Xbox game and Charter. It's like yeah, that's that's weird too. It's like when I saw for the first time playing Kingdom Hearts, specifically two is where I really got the feeling. Yeah, it's but true. but when it too, yeah. when it opened and I and it said hit the talk button and it was a y button it's just weird right oh, yeah for sure yeah. you're over here trying to do reversal or and it says press a y instead of triangle you're yeah. like whoa it's just strange because it's it, like that kingdom hearts game i played that on a ps2 so many times then ps3 then ps4 again so many times mm-hmm. and then to get that transformation to xbox which i would yeah. assume is how we would feel with halo it's just so strange but i mean phil's out there preaching he wants it on everything he wants all these games hey, everywhere Hey, I mean, I I don't um, I'm not I'm not against it because I mean, I, of course, a lot of people love exclusives. I like mm-hmm. exclusives, but I I can see where it's coming from. Could be like you know why make it exclusive where you know you can have everybody together because that's what his mind is said is yeah he wants everybody to be and play together. I get it, um, and I'm, I think this really shows that they're they want they want Game Pass to be mm-hmm. like the future period like no like sure. the reason they want e- everything everywhere is so eventually it gets on game pass and everyone buys it i i would assume is the strategy here yeah. um which i respect it and I, and I don't i don't know i don't disagree i guess i always hate especially with overwatch i always hate mm-hmm. and and this is uh pretty interesting because we're talking about this and we're just recently playing overwatch it's annoying that we can't just play with everybody right oh yeah, i can't yeah, play yeah. with my ps4 friends um it wasn't too long ago that you were playing on ps4 with some uh some work friends from a long time ago yes. and i wasn't able yes, to do yeah. it i had to buy a whole other version of the game to play with you guys and I, and i would lose everything i've per, uh, i've earned through progression yeah, exactly. up to that point yeah. and it's just yeah because i no. it's crazy how that works yeah so and i do think we're slowly moving away from that right call of duty was mm-hmm. kind of like the big one that toted that this year apex mm-hmm. is doing that this fall so i do think we're slowly getting to degrade and everyone's gonna eventually be like fine we'll do it um uh, I, I think, think it's um i think everybody is noticing that like the time of console wars is really coming to an end it where, is like, getting being, really you know, close to being it instead of going against each other trying to win and win just work together and everybody be as one gaming community because like from what i've seen you know it, like people um i'm not saying it you know it, it can be a like uh what is it called when like something starts you know starts going away and stuff like that degrading like, oh it's not a Slowly. Yeah, I guess it's yeah, slowly just degrading and it's not eroding it's not, away. So. Yeah, you, so I think they want to be like instead of us being a separate units, you know, and trying to fight each other, we all join together so we can they could be stronger as a community. Like the Avengers taught us, 
right? Avengers yes. Assemble. God, I just got chills. Uh, but and and like like you know, to an Xbox PlayStation like form into one giant system, right? Yep. Yeah, like in that one year, um, I think was it at E three or Game Awards? I think it was at Game Awards where Reggie fils Phil Spencer, and um, that was dope. Uh, Sean, Sean Layden. Uh, Sean Layden. Yeah, the Phantom. Three, Sean Layden. He was in our life, mm-hmm. and then he disappeared. All, <laughs> and he disappeared yep. But all three of them are on stage, and you're like, "Is this happening? Are they all joining together?" Like, uh, like Voltron, or like, uh, like the Power Rangers. <laughs> like they both hold up a sword, and they, <laughs> yeah, they could turn into a Megazord. Uh, I, I think we're far away from like a unification, but I do think we're we're getting close to no, for sure. to to walls being better, destroyed. Right? Because people are asking themselves, why can't I play this with my friend? Like that, that, and no one, no yeah. one. I never at one time when I had a 360 went. It's weird that I can't play with PS3 people. Never. Peer, I never said that. So it's. Yeah. I th- I do think it's m- way different now. Way different. Oh, for sure. Everything. I mean, it, it, like it's just society has changed to where like, like you know, everybody has their uh, preferences of what they like. I mean, and why change those preferences? Just make it. Just um, make to where it's comfortable for everyone so everybody can have a good time together very consumer friendly move yep going back to the article microsoft has said its upcoming games including series x launch title halo infinite will support xbox one for the foreseeable future the platform holder is also understood to be planning the second next gen console we've brought that up lockhart um, slightly less powerful but of course it will be cheaper as of current gen console support could hold back the scope of Microsoft's next gen, Spencer pointed to PC as an example of how it could work. Um, quick sidebar for me, I have been saying this myself, so I have to be one of these people that that uh, you know this person brought up this question. I have to, you know, and I feel like he's he's about to prove something very astute, and I I just never thought about. Uh, mm-hmm. So let's go to his quote quote. Frankly, held back is a meme that gets created by people who are too caught up in device competition i just look at windows it's almost certain if the developer is building a windows version of their game then the most powerful and highest fidelity version is the pc version that's pretty bold to say especially uh uh, and that's proof that he's the boss because like i don't think anyone could go out there and 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 just trash people like that but i again respect uh, like i think that's very important frankly held back is a meme is what he's saying like that's a meme and that's created by people like we said earlier that are caught up in quote-unquote console wars even though they're that's barely a thing anymore um yeah uh, so i i do think and like i said i brought up this same point where when i heard I think it's even on the show we were talking about before. They when they said that they're going to support Xbox One for I think it was three or four years. I don't remember. It might have been even five years. I was like, well, that kind of sucks to be honest, because that means I'm not getting a fully fledged next gen game. But like he mm-hmm. says, we get P- we there's a giant swath of how many PCs out there with how many different parts, and they all run it just fine. So maybe we don't have to worry about it. And even the you know little models can run some of these games even even though it, you know it's on ultra low but you can play it <laughs> which yeah. reminds me i played a uh, hyperscape i forgot to bring oh, that up um oh, yeah did, you, did, it, did it work yeah actually it, it does work um on optimal settings from me though for everything to run okay. like perfectly it does have to be low uh, i think okay. it, i think it was very low i think i have to be on and then um, I'm gonna try it on low, like the like just graphic quality, just to see what it, what happens. Um, mm. But like the little Nvidia thing was like optimal settings would be like very low or whatever, so to ensure yeah. you don't melt. <laughs> like, like so, I'm sure uh, they don't want me to increase that. But I will try and give my impressions mm. later on. I'm not a huge PC guy. I had fun with what little bit I played. Um, mm. it, I'm excited for it to come to consoles. To be frank, I, I don't really want to play on my PC. To be honest. Um, I'm just more of a console guy, so yeah. as soon as it comes it's to the console... Big, I used to be a big PC guy like, well, a long, long time ago. Well, what's funny is I didn't hate it. I did enjoy my time. It's just, mm-hmm. it's easier to pick a controller up. For me, anyways. Yeah, for sure. It's more of a re- relaxing than on a computer all day. I'm, I'm on a computer all day at work. I don't, I, you know, I don't want to come home and also be on a computer all day. <laughs> Going back, um, uh, so anything left on that arc you want to bring up, Alex? That, that, that I feel like we hit every every big note on that. No, yes. I think I think 
I think we hit every note. That's good. That's good. Uh, that's good. I, I, uh, to, just to uh, recify, I do agree with Phil's overall point here. Yeah. Um, and it's very well put. Very well put. I'm always envious on how his, his speaking is, is very um, impressive. It's, it's always very his impressive. Spokesman, his spokesmanship, I think. He's stuck in the, yeah, yeah. He, he's stuck in the class or two. He's stuck in the, eh, probably, I don't know. Over to Ubisoft. They had a Ubisoft event. It was called Ubi Forward. Me and Alex watched it. Um, and I enjoyed my time with it. I took some notes, um, and me and Alex are going to just go through the uh, the conference very quickly together. Um, we start mm-hmm. off with that Watch Dogs Legion's deep dive into more of the character, cre- not creation, yeah. but more yeah. of the character selection and recruit system Decision that's in the game. Selection. Yeah, yeah. So, so Alex, what did you think about that look that we got? I am I, I'm excited for it. Like, I love Watch Dogs. I played Watch Dogs two twice and i did everything I, this one i've been waiting for because i it's it's crazy to me because it, it, it it's it reminds me of no man's sky on, right like literally there's a lim- there, I, I mean i guess there's there is a limited amount because there's so many guys in the city yeah but to us it would because we would never hit all of them so it's unlimited amount of people you can recruit and it's mm-hmm. just nuts well i i dug the i i really dig the multiple angles you can take things um in reg no, yeah. in watchdogs i was uh, sorry watchdogs 2 specifically um if you play that you'll know what mm-hmm. i'm talking about there were like three different ways that the, you kind of could play the game it was uh i think co- like full combat you could be a ghost and sneak in or you can be like the hacker guy and you can just send your drone to do everything yep. and that was a mix of ghost and drone guy so i had a lot of fun with that and it looks like i can do that here again too and that's what that was my favorite part of the game is just like slowly going through and like doing things um quietly and efficiently and it looks like i can do that here and that makes me excited now i will say alex we did get a date for this um and, yeah, yeah. and uh, we'll be honest. I do for what? Do you remember the date? I believe I believe is October twenty nine, but I can I can check real quick. Let's see. Let's see. October twenty ninth should be right. Yes, it looks like it's right. Yeah, it should be right. And then um yeah, so I will put that down. Yeah, October twenty ninth. I believe is the release date. Yep, if you, if wanna, um, that looks cool. Very excited. Not much else to get into. It looks like, honestly, it looks like Watch Dogs 2. I didn't see anything that blew me away. It looks pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, and I like how the, because it's in London, which I'm, I'm glad that we, we're going to Europe. Yeah. Because I've always liked London and all European areas. Well, we don't usually go there. so different. Yeah, we don't usually go. We don't usually go to Europe. A lot of things are usually said in New York or Chicago or San Francisco. Or or just like, you know, big, like big, items. Big cities. Like, just like things. Like, yeah. like, it's not New York, but it is. Like, it's just they don't say the name. And, you know, it's just stuff like that. I'm yeah. glad we get somewhere different. And it looks nicer and, and, and all that. I, I'm very excited. And I like yeah. that you can recruit, like, the security guard people, too. Like, that's really cool. Like, you can get oh, them yeah. to do stuff for you. That is exciting. I'm really sure. excited to, like, slowly get into that. Mm. Uh, next coming up, oh, yeah. uh, something I don't care about. Brawlhalla coming to mobile, iOS and Android. That was cool uh, for Brawlhalla fans. Yeah, it's good. It's cool for people who would like it. Yep. Yeah, Might and Magic Two. Just wrote that down. I was not into that at all. Then they got into mm. Elite Squad, which is I guess you could call a just a Ubisoft mobile game. It looks like you mm. play as like a six. I think it was six person squad, four person squad, something like that. And it's a mobile game where you just recruit Ubisoft people from throughout like all the games, and you have these missions and you do them. It's another mobile game. It looks kind of funnish, but I doubt it's gonna be like. It's probably gonna be microtransactions up the wazoo. Mm-hmm. So I'm probably not gonna play this game to be back, uh, perfectly honest with everyone. Then we go into Rainbow Six Siege. And Alex, anything uh, point out to you? Just please bring it up. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, if any, if you want to bring anything up, Rainbow Six Siege look back, and um, they do a big thanks to 60 million players throughout their entire lifespan, which is insane. Um, good good for Rainbow Six Siege. I played that for a long time, and I really enjoyed my time with it. Uh, I want to say for like three months, I was like super into this game, and I eventually, you know, you do the you do the thing with all online games is eventually burn out because you played it too much and you wait, mm. and you eventually, I'll, I'm sure I'll eventually go back. Maybe when quarantine or uh, when that game comes out, if that game comes out with the same name, because, you know, it might change uh, due to the circumstance right now. But 
Moving on, Hyperscape Beta is out now. Again, I played that earlier. That was really fun. And then it says consoles will be uh, coming out this summer. And a cool thing, if you get the PC version right now, you get 30 free Battle Pass tiers. They're just free unlocks you'll get for your character. And they say they do transfer to PS4 and Xbox if you want to swap later on. Um, and if you're on consoles now, there is an extension you can get and you will up you will get the items that are in the battle pass by watching people play hyperscape i know that sounds complicated but if you're interested go google around you'll find uh solutions to your problems then philly comes on this is a really phil spencer uh centered uh podcast today uh he comes on and says watchdogs legions will support smart delivery and then goes on to say you know best place to play etc etc marketing terms marketing terms um very exciting cool smart delivery is awesome i'm glad that when i buy Watch Dogs legion that i'll be able to play it on series x so super excited about that alex then we get what we all came for uh assassin's creed valhalla we get the full gameplay overview which looks amazing Mm -hmm. and there's even more gameplay which i want to sit down and actually watch um they released like full 30 minute like full play playable segments like on youtube that you can just watch yeah. people play which is really nice uh, if you want like a real real deep inside and see how things are um alex there were some stories that brought uh, were brought up throughout the week um what do you think about this new uh, have you seen the side quest talk that people are saying there's like mm-hmm. a little mini i would say mini controversy not really a controversy uh but a little mini controversy that happened is it about the romance stuff? Uh, no. So I will bring it up real quick. So there were side quests yeah. in the game, right? There was a article okay. on some site. I think it was Kotaku. I don't really know. And they said there are no side quests in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, um, which is what? in theory not true in huge quotes, right? Yeah. Right. So there are side quests. They are just not the side quests you think of. You don't go to this guy. You talk to him. He goes, "Can you get this frying pan for me?" And he and you're like, "Sure." And you go and you grab the frying pan. You come back. Thanks for giving me my frying pan. And he goes, "Yay!" And then you get your XP and you go about your business. It's a little bit different and it looks more yeah. in, integrated into gameplay. So someone brought up. I was watching um, someone talk about it. Uh, for instance, you're walking down a bridge and there's this little girl playing with imaginary horses, right? Um, Mm -hmm. She's pretending there's horses and she's like talking to them. You talk to the girl, that sort of activates a side quest kind of thing. Um, It's it's not as overtly obvious as as everything else. She just says, yeah, you know, I would love a horse uh, to really play with. And then if you like look behind you, there's a horse you can grab and bring it to her. And if you do that, you go, you give it to her, and she's like, "Hey, this is the horse of my dreams, or whatever." And then she's got a horse, and that, and then the side quest ends. Like I don't, I don't believe there were many pop ups or anything like that. You just talk to her. Uh, it looks like it's trying to be immersive. Um, okay. Uh, not as much as Odyssey, where Odyssey had like question marks, and you go do this there, and this, you know, you go a thousand so, places and do uh, and do all that. I wonder if, with things like that would it count as part of your completion list or not that's a good so question like, i believe like, it would i assume it would anyways i i and i see i would assume it wouldn't because like mm-hmm. what if you, you you know you do see the girl and you're like and she's like oh yeah I really like a horse but what if you'll be like okay and you keep going and you don't see the horse behind her and you just keep and you, you try to find something later but you don't find something i would ass- miss it, right? yeah. i would assume you go back to that spot and the girl's like i sure wish i had a horse and like maybe you know now that oh maybe she wants a horse and i'll get it the side quest and you turn around and you grab the horse i assume I, okay. of course the game is not out yet and there hasn't been too too much coverage to know for sure but i assume it is uh, accessible again i have no idea um Mm -hmm. and but there was a lot more you could look up again there's gameplay everywhere uh but it looks fantastic i'm so excited this might be my most anticipated game next to cyberpunk uh and i just i i can't wait to just drop a hundred hours into this thing i'm sure i'm going to enjoy it i'm going to dual wield axes i'm very excited about that you can throw them at people's foreheads that's very nice i can't wait to um just uh, customize my uh avor yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, Evor, Avor, something like that. Um, yeah, no, me too, yeah. me too. Is it you or she? Don't know who I'm gonna be. I don't know either. I'm, I'm waiting for like talking, you know, like a little cool. more about each one, and maybe because it was clear when I heard Cassandra talk, I was like, that's better. Like I was like, she is oh, yeah, awesome. Sure. Um, with this one, um, I, I don't really know. 
the cool thing is too i read and i don't know if, uh, if you saw this article too apparently you can change your your gender during the game at two so you can go back and forth okay i remember you bringing this up so is it so it's like a setting you're doing i'm assuming because i i, I have to i have to find the article that's but, pretty um, nuts it's literally it says while in like during in game you can swap your gender all right, this is over on GameSpot. Uh, you'll be able to choose your gender in Assassin's Creed Origin. You, da, 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 da. I'm trying to find... Oh, this is from May 5th. This is way too old. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I see anything. Hold on. This is July 14th. Here we go. Um, gender of Ivor can be changed at any time. This is... Oh, good Lord. Regard yeah. news. This is <laughs> this is a site. This is quite a site. Anyways, <laughs> let's I have see. Games, I have games reader if you want me Please, to yeah, go ahead. Please, go ahead. Okay. Yep. So this is from Games Radar. Assassin's Creed Valhalla A War gender can be changed whenever you want. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will let you switch between male and female versions of the hero A War at any point throughout the game. Ubisoft has, has confirmed. Eric Bap uh, Baptizat, game director of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, that's a silly name. <laughs> with Games Radar, that you would not be locked to your gender choice for the entirety of the game. Huh? You can decide to play either male or female. Explains Bap Baptizat. But you are allowed to change at any time your skill tree or your, your, oh wait, you are allowed to change at any time your skill tree or the gender of your character. You can swap at it at any time. Baptize that. <laughs> sounds, sounds like you're trying to say a spell. Um, but so yeah. That's, it, um, yeah. That's crazy. That's cool. No, I, I, I like that. I, it I kind of alleviates the stress a little bit. Um, interesting choice. I guess they don't want you to like make a huge decision like maybe halfway through you're like ah eh, male you know avor isn't really doing it for me and you switch and you're like oh this is much better and you you know now you're you know the girl for the rest of the game yeah and he says right here uh quote he we wanted to let you have the freedom to experiment yes you have to make a choice but you can experiment it's the way it is for everything in assassin's creed valhalla it could be the difficulty to your skill tree to gender etc end quote um Cool. We want a player to experience all the possibilities of the game, and we want we uh, we find that very important. End quote. Okay. So hey. we want us to pretty much experience everything. You know, my favorite thing, Alex, is experimenting. You know that. So. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you know, I love to experiment. Moving mm -hmm. on. Far Cry Six was revealed. Not much else than a full gameplay trailer. Some four K four K screenshots were also revealed, but they did a really cool trailer, um, and they showed off John Carlo X Pasito. Uh, they showed off that he's in the game. He's gonna be the main villain. He's gonna looks like shape the child in this game, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Looks cool, I, and and I I do believe the theory that he looks like a what's it Voss. He does look like Voss. So oh, I'm curious. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm curious I, if I, I actually be Voss. Be cool if he is. Because we did get that yeah, thing I, from his voice actor, right? That he was coming back to the role. Like he tweeted yes. that out or something. Yes, the, like that's the guy, yeah, pretty damning. Yeah. <laughs> like that. He said he was, yeah, he was back to, to be Voss, uh -huh. and uh, everybody was like, "What does that mean?" That was a long time ago, to too. Now, I th if I remember correct, yeah, because they thought he was in the show for Far Cry, because they, I think they had hinted uh -huh. about it, so it was going to be HBO Max or something. Yeah, but I, uh, but maybe it could be this, or it could be that, or it could be this, or it, it could be that, and this is where it's at. <laughs> it could be that. It could be okay. All right. Um, yeah. Not much for that. I'm excited. I'll play it like any Far Cry. Um, I heard some people mm. hoping they change up Far Cry's. Uh, I guess formally you could say because it's kind of the same with the Ubisoft thing where it's mm. you go here, you do this thing, you go there, you do that thing, and you keep doing it until you do all the things, and then you're done with the game, and then and then you do the next game. So I don't know. I I guess I echo the sentiment of I'd like to see something changed. I'll be curious if it's actually changed. I doubt it. They'll probably do that in future games, and they can't really change much now. Uh, but mm -hmm. I will see when it comes out. Uh, and this is uh, moving on. Sony... Reportedly increasing PS5 production to 10 million units by 2021. This is James Batchelor over at, you guessed it, GamesIndustry.biz. Sony has increased its order of PlayStation 5 consoles from manufacturing partners, expecting more demand for its new console. That's according to reports from both Bloomberg and Nikki Asian Review, which cite anonymous sources close to the matter. 
Bloomberg claims Sony is planning to ready 10 million PS5 units by the end of the year, while Nikki reports that it's closer to 9 million. Earlier this year, it was reported that Sony had reduced the order of PS5 consoles to 6 million units by the end of the physical year in March 2021. This was attributed to the COVID-19 pandemic's impact on production as much as the company's manufacturing is handled in China. However, supply chains are said to be returning to more productive levels and concerns of a second wave of coronavirus suggest increased demand for indoor entertainment such as video games. Sony has a four suppliers and assembled partners. It is increasing its order ahead of PS5's launch later this year. Although it's unclear whether these additional units will be delivered in time for the holiday shopping season. It won't be, I'll tell you that right now. Orders for the new DualSense controller have also been increased to account for the higher number of console units. Cool. It means more people will be able to get their hands on the system. I do think demand will be higher, which means, <clears throat> um, if I remember correctly, I read this earlier. I could be butchering it. This was Daniel Mod tweeted out that uh, it took, it, I, I, if I remember correctly, PS4 didn't ship 10 million units in its first year, which means oh. if they're doing it in the first like few months, then it's pretty. They expect high demand, which. If, you know, I, if I was on Sony's side, I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be like, we got to make more of these. People are going to be eating these things alive. Oh, uh, for sure. <clears throat> what I'm curious about, Alex, is how how do you think that's cut up? So PS5 production, we know there's two SKUs. Mm. How much is all digital? How much is regular? What do you th- what do you think? Do you think mm. half and half? I think that's too easy. I think do you, I, no. if I had to guess i, I want to say it's at more, maybe 70 like 30 more to disc in than digital maybe yes that's exactly what i was gonna say okay they, not everybody's gonna want all their di- all digital games uh-huh. because uh there's a lot of from what i've seen a lot of uh, family or parents that don't trust like we like digital only be like oh well you know what if the it gets you know lost so like in the cloud or something it doesn't work or, i've had a lot of people ask me that too game. Yeah, so like if you have your disc, you can you, know, you can play it. But if you yeah. so like I feel like people are more inclined to go disc in. Also, a lot of people I don't think this is brought up enough. A lot of people don't trust people with their credit card. I know, and you know that seems oh, weird. Sure, I've had a lot of people tell me I don't want to put my credit card on the system. I've had I honestly a surprising amount. I didn't think it was that big a deal <laughs> to be honest. But a lot of people have said I just don't want to put my card on there. I don't trust the mm-hmm. internet. So, and I don't even think it's Sony. I think it's just period. They probably don't like putting their things on the internet unless they have to, which is you know I mean it's not like that's unwarranted. Like and dude, and it happens because I mean I've had to where my uh, my debit card was used online somewhere for a website that i didn't even know about i had to oh, get well. that money back so like it happens no it happens yeah it happens uh you know it's pretty common if i have to say so myself luckily i have not personally suffered that i'm sure eventually yeah. it will happen but so far nothing but yeah no i i, I think i think we're our assumption in more disc versions are probably correct i'll be very curious on how we see pricing of course um mm-hmm. i think if they're doing 400 dollars for digital i think that's enough uh for saving a hundred dollars is a lot for families i think a lot of people would choose that digital though if it saves them a hundred bucks which is a lot of money yeah a lot of money for a lot of people it is oh that that even sounded like you were thinking about it that was that was an alex sigh if i've ever heard one (laughs) i thought about it because i'm I, i don't know if i'll have enough for the ps5 when it releases so right. like, i'm debating on the digital one but i really enjoy having discs as as, as much as well as an option it. right I like yeah yeah i like i like i like having discs. it's well it's one of those things where you, when you buy the digital you have now made a decision for as long as you're having the system i will never buy a disc ever period well, like it's like the, it's, it's the, just a um, drastic change for most people. and imagine it, it like with the collector's edition for example our recent one that i just got was last of us part two collector's edition it doesn't come with a digital version of the game it comes with the physical now question well, i'm going to ask you game. alex collector's what? editions will they have discs do you think playstations and now specifically playstations is what i'm asking here do you think playstations collector's yes. editions will now not have discs to promote the digital version oh no no i feel like they're still gonna have discs I want to say yes to. I, I want to be with you on that because one because it does seem counterintuitive. They would have, go, they please would go have ahead. to make two different SKUs: a digital 
version, collector's edition, and a, and a disc version. There's no mm, way I feel like they'll do that. No, see, I don't think they would. I think they would just do one digital version. I don't think they and would see, do it. I don't think they'll do. That. I don't think they'll do that. Well, I see. I think off the top of my head, I think it's counterintuitive for people to for them to release a collector's edition and not give them the disc because I assume the people who want the disc are the people who want the collector's yeah. edition. That's like, what I'm saying. like, like that's a that's edition. a that's a circle, right? Not not like a Venn diagram. That's a circle. People who want collector's edition yeah. want discs normally, yeah, usually. Exactly. Like I do for sure because like it comes with a steelbook case. If it's digital, what what the hell am I going to do with the steelbook case? That's that's it's just gonna sit. It's just gonna, <laughs> it's just gonna sit there. Empty. <laughs> that's that's where I would put my disc if I had one. Shout out to fairly our parents <laughs> in that one. If I had one. If I had one. Moving on. That, that was a, that's a good that's a good bring up. I feel I, I've never honestly thought about it, but that's I don't know. I I, I do they. I think I, they're gonna stay with the uh, discs. I think so I too. Think they, I'm just curious on what PlayStation wants to promote now. I think Xbox doesn't I care. The they do whatever they want. Option. I think digital is the option for people who do only like, you know, uh, d- like d- digital people that travel because there's a I've I've seen a lot of people like for example like truck drivers or people who travel a lot only have digital or you know they don't have space for all these discs so they have like a little booklet of, of CDs that they carry their games in. So like it's I think it's for the people who for that degree. I know some people who do that and it's like what are you doing? I know exactly. It's like the it's like the eighties. Like let me get my CD out. It's like what are you doing with this? Case? I know exactly. Yeah, because uh, I mean I what's it called? Uh, I knew a neighbor that did that, and I'm like, uh, I was like, hey man, can I borrow this game? And he, he's like, pulls out the let like, me get my CD it. book. It's like oh, okay. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I wanted to look at the case. Like where's the case? He's like, what case? I'm like, oh. What's up with these people? Right. All right, I'm about to I'm about to get into it. What's uh, up with these people throwing away cases? What is going on with these people throwing away ca- a per- just buy it digitally? Well, I don't understand. What's the point of this? Mm-hmm. You you, you yep. got a perfectly good case. You it's, just and, throw it away, and, and you'll get those people. They'll be like, "Where's the case? I don't need it. Why? It's just gonna sit in my system though for forever." I'm like, "Are you sure about that? When, <laughs> what about that? When the next one comes out? What are you gonna do with the disc?" That's true. I don't know. Put it in the next case. Oh my <laughs> god. That is that's someone who wants to watch the world burn. When you put the disc of a different game in a different, it's it's oh, and it's it's, it's it's unexcuse it's it's unexcuse. I, how dare you? Look, how dare you? I, I how recently, dare you, sir? I recently brought back. I recently reconnected my 360 because I was really in the mood for Guitar Hero. Did you grab will, an archaeological um, kit to dig it from the grave it was in? No, it's actually surprising. <laughs> it was just sitting on my on my, on my shelf. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> um, but no, I started playing Guitar Hero, and I was like, "Oh, let me go back to Guitar Hero 2 I opened the disc, and the first Rock Band game is in there. I'm like, "Why?" Hey, good, is this in here? good luck finding it. Where, where the hell is it gonna be now? Right? Of, for, of course, now it's like, okay, well, is Rock Band One have that case in it? Then you open that. Nope, it's empty. Well, what? Now you have no leads. Now, all right, open every 360 game I got, I guess. Yep, and I hate it. Oh my god! Eventually, I just want to find an empty case. That it print a, co- a cover art for it and just like <laughs> make it there shove go. it in there. There, it's got its own case now. <laughs> Moving on from our incredible tirade we went on there, Marvel's Avengers beta dates and the second war table has been announced. Um, following the unveiling back at E3 2019, Chris on IMAX has promised a beta for the upcoming Marvel's Avengers. Now, finally, we know when the beta will take place. Um, this is from IGN, of course. They did their first coverage, and they brought up um, how the dates are going to be aligned. So, starting August 7th, PlayStation pre-order beta access begins, right? Um, August 14th, Xbox and PC pre-order beta access begins. PlayStation open beta also begins. August 21st, open beta across all platforms begins. <laughs> And now to clarify, this does not clarify. To clarify, these are weekends, not for the full weeks. These are weekend betas. This uh, article does not completely state this. This is um, going to be on their official Twitter account. They go into specifics on saying these are just weekends. So the August seventh weekend, you know, fourteenth, twenty first, etc., will be the beta. So for people who don't know what this is, and probably most likely me, what okay. is War okay. Table? Is that what the so, thing is for? So War Table are like PlayStation State of Plays or Nintendo Directs. War Tables are just, oh. they sit down and discuss oh. the game. Yeah, yeah. So the first War Table gotcha. was showing off Thor and how the classes worked. 
Got it. And all that. Did you watch that by chance? No, I did not. Okay, so I'll fill you in real quick. I've, the, I've literally, I literally haven't seen anything for this game other than the or the the reveal for it. That <laughs> one. That's it. Uh, I haven't seen anything else. I, and I'm sure there's plenty of people at home are like, I haven't either. What's a war table? Why is it called war table? That's a strange thing. Aren't these people like, like, aren't they like peace givers? Why do they have a war table? <laughs> All right. Like so to it. specify, it is a digital presentation. They go and they show their game off. The first one was showcasing off Thor um, in the middle of of his i think like opening kind of segment like opening mission he got that shows off his many powers they show off what different versions of thors you can have right you can have a thor that spec uh, specifies solely on throwing out his hammer or it's close combat where he like twirls it in a circle and hits people with it or he powers himself up with the power of lightning and now his things do lightning damage and etc etc you can have uh, the point of it was your thor should be different than someone else's thor uh, which I thought was cool. It looks fun. I'm excited to see what else that will mean when we get to it. Um, I will yeah. say, again, this looks like pretty Marvel Avengers, and I'm excited for that. That is not a slight, but that that's what it looks like. Um, we also should know, I believe this is the one where they're going to talk about their new character reveal. They teased that in the last Wars, uh, uh, War Table that the I think the next, I want to say the next one was going to reveal their new character. Um. Now this this game. I'm yes. Just, it, they they said right. It's a whole. It's a whole. Is it, is it a brand new story or is it like one like like in the comics? Kind of like you know. There's there's you know there's there was Eng Infinity War and then there's all, uh, some all the other ones from the comics. Is this a whole new story? So uh, again, this Did is in the. Yeah. And so in the yeah. So in the first War Zone, they go in. Well, not really in the first War Zone. I believe in the last E three. Um, during Square's conference, they went into what the game is about. So the game is about, it's called A-Day. So originally, A-Day is a Avengers uh, celebratory day where they thank them and they have, like, you know, they mm -hmm. they they have fun with the Avengers. They, they talk about them, they throw little parades and things. Yeah. During A-Day, a terrorist attack happens. And this is where... Uh, the game starts this way, so this is no spoiler, but, but Captain America yeah. dies during A-Day. This causes it's, it's, it's allegedly. That's what. I mean, I'm sure he's alive. He's playable in the game, so I'm sure he's coming back at some point. <laughs> I mean, we'll see what happens. It's the worst case. I mean, I can't believe they're pretending this man's dead. Anyways, he he dies. They the Avengers are blamed for I think not stopping it or creating it or something that's not really clear. But now a day is is like nine eleven. Like it's a terrible day. People don't like the Avengers yeah, anymore. Gotcha. They're disbanded. Enter in Miss Marvel. If you don't know Miss Marvel, she is the uh, uh, the girl who like uh, gets big. Like her hand, like she can make herself bigger, and her her arms can get bigger. She's a really cool character. She's mm -hmm. she's kind of newer um, to the uh, yeah. Marvel universe, uh, but she mm -hmm. is the one who connects them all together because she knows that they were set up or whatever. Uh, and that's as far as we know. The last Warzone did bring up that Modok is one of like the oh. big bads. He's gonna be like kind of like I would, they didn't specify the main bad guy, but I'm sure he's gonna be like one of the main bad people we fight. I'm gonna say Galactus. Wow, that is a huge jump <laughs> from <laughs> this very s small story to Galactus. But all right, I, I sure let's do it. <laughs> okay, going back. To the article oh god the second war table presentation will be on july 29th at 10 a.m pacific to detail what players can expect out of the beta well we'll have to wait a few weeks for full details creative director sean oh iski gag it did tease that the beta will include a little bit of everything campaign content co-op missions hero progression and exploration in warzone and drop zones <laughs> the later uh, the latter of which is a new kind of mission to be detailed in in the war table sorry i laughed at that it just weird like there's there's such generic names <laughs> that it's like what do you, what does this yeah, even I mean i believe it's s cake <laughs> oh oh you're on s s cake okay yeah i see that uh, cake. okay yeah. yeah i see that. i can I see assume. that yeah, I think so, too. Uh, quote, we built the beta in such a way that you can experience most of the things you'll be doing in the full game. S. Cake said in a statement accompanying the announcement, 
That means playing a piece of the original single player adventure story campaign, fighting through co-op missions, experiencing hero and war progression, and exploring row zones and drop zones. A new kind of mission we'll talk about in the upcoming war table on July 29th. This beta is meaty, and it's only a small part of the finished yeah. game. It's meaty, Alex. Are you excited? Uh, you know, should I be though? I I, I, I think this. I think this I'll be honest with you, Alex. Really it sounds like you're not excited at all because <laughs> you, you you didn't even know the basis of the game. <laughs> dude, I feel like this game. It's one of this game. It, I like. Like I'll play it, and I'm sure like I'll like it a lot. <laughs> but it has. You sound way. thrilled. <laughs> You sound thrilled. You're like, I'm sure I'll play it. <laughs> like, it didn't grab my attention when I saw the reveal. I mean, right. It looks cool. Right. And I'm really excited for the story, but I think I just, I think I want to go in blind. Okay. No, I get it. I get it. And and to be fair, it is just another online game, right? And, and I think they're trying their damnedest to try and not be, but to me, they're coming off as, yeah. we're like Destiny with like, diablo with like other things and we're marvel and it's cool because you'll be thor and it and it seems like the main point of the fun is cool i'm thor mm -hmm. and i'm like throwing my hammer or cool i'm black widow and i'm shooting people in the face you know like i think that's like the main cool thing you can see all i care for is the story interesting i, I hope I the story's good what, the basis of the story sounds I just, cool i just want to know what happens yeah me too uh, the basis of the story sounds cool, so I'm I'm excited for this to help ho again. Hopefully, be good. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, and I guess we'll know soon. It ain't far away. We, I'll, I'll try and get in that beta. Um, myself, I'll try to get Alex in, and maybe we'll do some content around it. We we'll try to. Mm, Skull and Bones to gain new. Speaking of online games, Skull and Bones to gain new life as a live service game. Oh God! You know, Alex, I was just telling myself I need more live service games in my life. I just I need more. Right, I don't have enough. I don't have enough Fortnite Apexes. I don't have enough Destinies. I don't have enough Diablos. I don't have enough Overwatches. I don't have enough uh, Call of Duty. I don't have enough. Uh, I can go on and on, I guess. But I guess I just don't have enough games. Initially planned for a release in 2018. I'll read that again. Initially planned for a release in 2018. The title has since all but vanished, getting pushed back year after year. The latest official news came from Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemont during a 2019 investors call where he stated that the game would be out sometime in 2021 fiscal year. But why the delay? Why no mention of the game during the recent Ubisoft Ford? Because they have nothing to mention. We might now have an answer. Video Games Chronicle reported that the game has expanded into a most ambitious life service title. Skull and Bowls always had a large multiplayer component, but now story quests and PvP content are being blended into a single experience, something that one can assume is akin to Sea of Thieves. Apparently the title was struggling to form its own identity and distance itself from simply being an Assassin's Creed spin-off. That is, by the way, from Tom Caswell at Digital Trends. Alex, I echo your thoughts at Marvel Adventures. I literally couldn't care less about this. <laughs> and see, I, I and see, I'm really excited. Oh, I guess I, I guess I, I could, love, I, I could care it. less. No, no, yeah, I, I, I could care less about this game. I think it's <laughs> the right saying. I don't remember, but I, I don't. It's not. This isn't. Uh, what is it? Uh, on American Idol. What's his name? That, that, it, it's an. It's a no for me, dog. No, no, no. The other guy. The cool. Uh, the cool Howie? dude. No. What? No. This is old. Wait. Old days. Old days. Uh. How, uh Howard Stern. No. God. No. What? Stop it. Anyways, we're going back to the article. You said, you said American Scott Talent. No, I said American Idol. Oh, American Idol. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't watch that. Oh, God. Oh, don't say like well, the same thing. You, you said it with such disgust. Why do you hate American Idol? Uh, screw the article. Oh, what, oh, what's your grief oh, with American Idol? And nothing is wrong with it. I mean, I watch it now. You're telling me now, the great like... Clay Aiken doesn't meet your standards? Clay Aiken? <laughs> <laughs> he was the first one, I think, who won American Idol. Really? Yeah, I think is so. He right now <laughs> is like so many different people. It's Katy Perry um no american no. idols is, is is over they don't do that anymore right uh huh they don't do american idol anymore yes they do no yes they do no i didn't they get you, i thought everything well, got was, canceled no i was just watching it with my wife american idol it has katie perry little rich uh, i think his name is little richard and um god uh, it's i forgot that uh, it's a country singer 
But I have to look it up here. Let me see. Okay, it looks it looks like it's not. It looks like it's not. I already looked it up. It it doesn't it doesn't look like it. It it stopped filming for coronavirus, of course. And see, they were doing they well. They were uh, Lionel Richie and uh, Luke Bryan and Katy Perry were the three, and then the three hosts. And Ryan Seacrest is the the like the like kind of like what Terry Crews is with American Idol. Kelly Kelly Clarkson was another one. That oh, I think was on American Idol. I think, I think she gotcha, won. Gotcha. Okay, so, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I could have swore I read somewhere that I got canceled. And see, I, and because just like the other week, uh, my wife was watching and she was watching them perform during Corona because everybody was at home doing the video thing, like what everybody's doing right now. Okay. They were performing through through Zoom. That sounds terrible. Um, but I, I guess I guess... <laughs> That's what I, they were doing. Eh, no, I respect the the go get them attitude. All right, no, I guess I'm an idiot. I could have swore they got something I can't. All right, all right. I succeed, Alex. I think they might have stopped and then they came back. I guess it's succeed, S E C E D E D, succeed to you. Um, going back. Moving uh, on. Yes, moving on. Of course. Xbox Wire. This is coming from Xbox Wire. Coming soon to Xbox Game Pass. Uh, me and Alex are going to kind of do a duet here. Uh, our, I'm going to read one, Alex will read one, so on and so forth, so you don't get stale from my voice. <laughs> Forger, console and PC, ID at Xbox, July 16th. Explore, craft, gather, and manage resources, find secrets, and build your base out of nothing. Forger is a 2D open world game inspired by exploration, farming, and crafting games. Start small, build land to explore, improve your base, and build your future as you see fit. Hmm. Mountain Blade Warband console ID at Xbox July 16th in a land torn asunder by incessant warfare it is time to assemble your own band of hardened warriors and enter the fray lead your men into battle expand your realm and claim the ultimate prize the throne of Calradia Mountain Blade Warband is a standalone expansion pack for the game that brought medieval battlefields to life with its realistic mounted combat and detailed fighting system Jesus Right? <laughs> Korean. Korean? Yeah, Korean. Korean. Console and PC, another idea at Xbox. July 23rd, a reverse horror game. What does that mean? A reverse horror game? So you're scaring the game? In which you assume the role of an amorphous creature of unknown origin. Stalk and consume those that imprisoned you to spread fear and panic throughout the facility. Grow and evolve as the... Ter- here. Yeah, you're scaring the game, which is what I said, which is weird. You are kind of scaring the game. Yeah. And tear down this prison. Acquire more and more devastating abilities on the path to retribution pre install on console or pc now interesting golf with your friends on pc id at xbox july 23rd why have friends if not to play golf with your friends <laughs> take on multiple mini golf courses from jungle adventures all the way to a sci-fi space station party online with two oh i see oh, what i see did. Par i see what t. i see what they did they did par and then t okay mm-hmm. par t online with two, up to two uh, 12 players and try your hand yeah and try your hand at different game modes including classic mode hoops and hockey hoops grounded coming to xbox game preview on console and pc july 28th the world is a vast beautiful and dangerous place especially when you have been shrunken to the size of an ant explore build and survive together in this cooperative survival adventure can you thrive alongside the horrors of giant insects fighting to survive the perils of the backyard join our community and help shape the future of grounded in xbox game preview july 28th it's like honey i shrunk the kids a hundred percent like it's literally like i want to make a game about that and they finally made a game about it <laughs> um nowhere profit console and pc id at xbox on july tw- july 30th take on the role of a powerful leader and mystic and nowhere profit empowered with gifts of te- techno tech what technopathy. technopathy yeah that means you can control okay like electricity shit okay. It, it looked, you know, when you see a word and it's weird and you're like, am I saying this right? Well, you say it and you're like, that uh, can't be a real thing. <laughs> no, right? Yeah. Empowered with the gifts of technopathy, the ability to sense and affect electrical currents, you are the last hope to a band of outcasts and refugees as you lead them across randomly gener- generated wastelands. Pick fights with greedy slavers and crazy machines using a unique turn based card combat system. Can you survive long enough to reach the mysterious crypt? No, I can't. I'm not playing that. 
The tourist <laughs> console in BC, July 30th. You are arriving at the Monument Islands. Want to go swimming? Or rather take a dive into the deep sea? Or do you want to visit the amusement arcade? Do some shopping? Dance at the beach party? Fancy some surfing? Are these all questions? Or will you talk with the strange old tourist? Listen to what he has to say about these ancient mysterious monuments? Explore all these activities in this action-adventure puzzle game. All right. I'm sorry. What is that? What is that? It, so I do I not do any of the first things? Do I just talk to the guy and then it starts the game? I I feel like we need to try this just to see what the hell happens. What is Oh, that was just weird cuz it starts with all those things that sounds like things I want to do, but then it goes, "No, you're not doing any of that." <laughs> you're just you're just going to talk you're going to talk to this old dude. <laughs> We do yeah, kind of. I do kind of want to try that. All right, go ahead. This one I'm kind of excited for because I've always wanted to, to get into these games. I'm not. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami Two console and PC July 30. An assassination threatens to erupt an all-out war between the Chojo Clan and the Omi Alliance. Kazuma Kuri, the Dragon of Dojima, must travel to Senembori, Osaka, and attempt to broker peace between the rival clans. But Ryuji Goda, the Dragon of the Kansai. We'll stop at nothing to get his war. Play this classic installment of the acclaimed Yakuza saga with Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> I'll be I, Alex. I, Alex, <laughs> I was, I was. You already knew, Alex. I, I picture. <laughs> Alex, I bet this is how some people feel when they read Kingdom Hearts descriptions. What? <laughs> what did we just read? <laughs> There's a lot of Japanese words. I was trying to keep it together. I feel like you nailed it, Japanese but I, uh, but I, you yeah. know, I'm not Japanese, so you know, I probably shouldn't be the one saying it. Oh God, oh God, that was hilarious. All right, and this is just the case you had missed it. Uh, they snuck in some surprise games. So Endless Space 2 comes on PC. Um, the sequel to the two-time UDD award-winning Endless Space. Endless Space 2 is an Amplitude Studios turn-based 4X sta space strategy game that launches players into space colonization age of different civilizations within the Endless Universe. Oh my god. And Halo 3 is also on PC. And then Neon Abyss. Unleash the power of Grim Squad and Neon Abyss, a frantic roguelite action platform where you run and gun your way through procedurally generated dungeons to take down the new gods. Featuring unlimited item synergies, a unique dungeon elevation, uh, evolution system, and a host of minigames. You can even hatch and evolve pets to cause more carnage. Each run diversifies the experience. Every choice alters the rule set. All right, all right. And you know what? For old time's sake, let's read the Halo Three one. Just, just for fun. Finish the fight between the Covenant, the Flood, and the entire human race in the dramatic, pulse-pounding conclusion to the original Halo trilogy. Relive eleven unforgettable missions and fight through twenty-four multiplayer maps, complete with enhanced Spartan customization and an all-new progression system spanning each game within Halo: The Master Chief Collection. Huh. Nice. There's just a bunch of DLC stuff. Um. I'm a, yep. There's a Gears 5 Operation 4. It looks like that's their season. There's a new thing. You can get Dom now, um, I think, as part of their ranking system. It's free to all people, so you can cool. play it as of yesterday. Then there's the Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can pre-install that on Windows 10 PC. The sky is calling. Expansion of the joy of flight in the next generation of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Available with Game Pass for PC on August 18th. From light planes to wide body jets, fly highly detailed and accurate aircraft, test your piloting skills against the challenges of night flying, real time atmospheric simulation, and live weather in a dynamic and living world. Create your flight plan to anywhere on the planet. The world is at your finger pricks. Xbox game members can pre install now so you're ready to play on day one. Speaking of a Microsoft flight simulator, which by the way, that does sound kind of cool now that I read it out loud. Microsoft, a new flight I simulator. Want to play it. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I want to try it, but it, does it mean to, so like if I do great at this game, does that going to give me a piloting degree and I can go be a pilot? Um, I don't know. Put it on the resume and see if they hire you. <laughs> uh, so what are your qualifications? Well, I hope you know, I played an hour of flight simulator um, and I only took a break twice. So yep. <laughs> I think crash once. Yeah, I only crashed one time. Killed every passenger on board. 
Microsoft's new flight simulator comes on 10 discs. This is over on Kotaku. If you want to buy a Microsoft simulator like a normal person and download it, then it will download and you'll play it and everything will be normal. If you want to hold a box, though, you're going to need both hands because, and there's an ex explicit. Uh, holy shit. The simulation specialist Aerosoft have been hired by Microsoft to distribute physical games of the game in Europe. And yeah, man, just look at the box. Just Google Microsoft box. There are 10 discs in this thing. And here's like a little caveat on why it's so big. The simulation code itself, that is around pretty small in size, is the mandatory part. It's pretty, I think it's like 10 gig or something like that. The word aircraft delivered by Microsoft, that content depends on the version, um, that is around 90 gigs and is a mandatory part of the game. And then there's optional online stream content and there's an optional third party thing. But all of that together is quite hefty and you need 10 discs to be able to run it. So that's great. I thought. I thought computer went away with the multi-disc thing, but apparently not. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess I get it because, like, you can only, like, for people who, I don't know. I really don't know. Cause Look, I remember when I was trying to play Spider-Man Unlimited on my PC, and it had, like, between three and six discs, and I'm, I can't remember which one it was. But I'm like, why is there so many discs? Why can't I just put one in, play the game, or just be one to pr install it and then one to play it? That's it. That's all I need. I guess because they, because I believe they're still on DVDs, because mm. not everyone has a Blu-ray player on their PC, so mm, the I think that's why. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That is a complete guess, but comment or tweet at me very angrily, please. Um, back to release. To I'm. They're gonna be like so upset. Like how dare you! Uh, uh, free Minecraft map glitch runner. Upload your consciousness and get ready to run in this infinite cyber parkour course where one wrong step can be the end of you. Oh god. Your task with carrying an energy core without dropping it while the world behind you deteriorates. Also, the <laughs> why is this in Minecraft? Also, did you know that you can purchase Minecraft for Xbox One at a discount using your Xbox Game Pass membership? And if you want to plus up your experience both your master and starter collections have more dlc included and are also discounted with xbox game pass members why is minecraft being up talked like this i did i they paid a lot they of money for minecraft that's why starter collections they paid a lot of money for minecraft that's probably why it's still very popular so the Goon Runner it sounds cool. The Cyber Parkour course, but it lost me when I said I have to run with something and as the world deteriorates behind me. My favorite part is how serious it came off. It's like it's Minecraft. Yeah. You have to hold an energy orb, or you will die. And I'm like whoa! I thought this was Minecraft. Like what happened? Uh, and yeah. uh, my personal favorite from all this: Overcooked Two Suns Out Buns Out. It's a free console update out now. Overcooked Two is bringing you a new helping of chaotic cooking with a celeb uh, celebratory free update on Xbox One. Are you ready to parade through the Onion Kingdom to five new kitchens? Expect lots of fire. <laughs> Expect lots of fireworks, confetti, and floats to really heat up your gameplay isn't that well okay uh, no every everything works there kind of except the floats be how the floats don't heat up so uh, new dog chefs are at the ready play the free suns out buns out update on july 16th i'm i want to play with this with my girlfriend wife alex i know you hate overcooked too and everything it stands for and honestly well, our friendship has been lesser for it no <laughs> xbox game pass ultimate perks you may uh not know because they don't really tell you that much but if you have xbox game pass ultimate you have perks they're kind of like twitch prime if you know what twitch prime is if you don't know what twitch prime is it's kind of like uh steam if you don't know what steam is i don't know and we have two brand new perks for xbox game pass ultimate members that launched on july 14th it can be claimed right now Blessed Unleash, charge into battle with an exclusive mount and boost your adventure with Valor perks and a thousand Lumenia. <laughs> Unleash your potential and fight your way to victory. Smite, unlock the gods for Avatar, the last Embitter. Claim your Avatar starter pass, including 3,000 battle pass points, instant access to Merlin, Scaddy, Susano, and their voice packs, and a daily deal token. Dope. Hmm. That's cool. I actually claimed this, and I'm, I'm trying to claim the people right now. Because that sounds awesome. Are you gonna? Are you, are you going to play Smite? I'm gonna try and fail and not play it, but yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> look, I've, look, I've played it. I, I've, I've played it before, and I'm I, I'm down. But I don't see this as type as, as a type of real game. <laughs> I've but tried it like two other times it's, it's, and I've failed. 
it's it's different from League because it's not top down. So you might like it. Right. I don't know. July quests have arrived. If you don't know, you can do quests and things. You can do the Minecraft. You earn two uh, achievements in Minecraft, and you get 75 points. Disneyland Adventures. Collect 150,000 coins, you get 75 points. That doesn't Damn. seem to be equal at all, but okay. <laughs> and, of course, with this means you are getting a leaving soon on your Game Pass. If you want to get them, make sure you buy, go and buy them if you want to keep them, because um, you will get 20% off for being a Game Pass member. So, starting off, Ashes Cricket. On console, Rhyme console and PC, um, and the Banner Saga three console and PC all leaving July thirty first. Huh. And boy, oh boy, Alex, if you don't believe it, that is the news for the week. You sure? It was there's not more. It, well, I mean, I could, I'm sure I could find something, but that's everything we wanted to tell the you- achievers this week. Oh, sure. I'm sure once we're done recording this, there'll be new news. Oh, of course. That's how it works, right? It's going to be like, oh, my God, Sony bought X- uh, Xbox. Oh, God. You know, something like that. But Alex, right before we wind down for the week and we go enjoy the weekend with the Achievers, I ask you another question. Alex, I would like to ask mm. you a question. What would you like? What to you have? got queued up for the week? What is that game? What is that TV show? What is that movie you have queued up and ready? to watch or enjoy for this week mm, boy you know in two days we got ghost of tsushima ghost of tsushima will be played hopefully and maybe beaten by the next recording huh okay maybe well, for me i don't know i love playing game, you know i get lucky because this coincides with days off for me so I'll yeah. have two days off. That's a lot of gameplay time. I can really get in, get close to get being. And then, of course, expect this spoiler cast, as always, from your favorite achievers. We will have that supplied to you within the time we beat it. We will have it live. Oh, for sure. Of course, of course. Alex, mm. is that all you have queued up for the week? Just ghosts? Um, well, that and more Overwatch because I've, I've been yeah. doing more, more Apex, of course. Oh, yeah. We got to do that last um, mission. That went live Tuesday. Yes, and then I, I, by next week, I will have the Platinum for Last of Us. Mm. So by next recording, I will So you're promising right now to the Achievers that you will have yes. the Platinum for the Last of Us Part 2 by next week, by the recording of next week. Yes, I will. Tweet at me if you believe it. At <laughs> EVM9000. Will make, Alex make, actually do that? Make a question right now on Twitter. Will Alex finish Last of Us Part 2? Yes or no, and let's see the poll. <laughs> it's going to be 100% no. Mm-hmm. But hey, hey I know... I Go ahead. To Horizon eventually. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you I, no, didn't. I went back a little bit. No, I you did back not. I a little bit, and then I stopped. I last of us hate time. you. You do this to me every time. You get my hopes up, and then you dash them away. I'm tired of giving it to you. And on that note... We can't wait to see you next week. Will Alex actually finish Last of Us Part 2 Platinum by the next week? Well, you only know if you tune in. Same bat time, same bat channel. You can, of course, meet us here every single Friday, free of charge on the podcast service or YouTube of your choice. Freeloaders, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Give us all the watch time with your eyeballs. And then if you want to support us financially, then you can, of course, of course, go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You can give us a dollar again. That gives you an exclusive every single month. That also gives you the ability to chat with us directly on Patreon. Every single Patreon question gets answered first. Any question, comment, concern, thought, or idea answers there first, and you have a polite discussion with us. You can, of course, tweet at us. We are open to any question on there. And if you remember, Alex still owes you guys Chun Li outfit. I think if you made I mean, this is really old. I think if you gave us like sixty bucks, I think we would yep. dress up in Chun Li. This is a long time ago. I don't even remember. Hey, but man. it was something hey, like that. As it happens, I'll do it. It was something like that. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for listening. Thank you for giving us the time of day. We love and appreciate you. But until next time, go achieve. Go achieve.